The Dan's 2022 season came to a close on Sunday in the first round of the playoffs with an 11-10 loss to Illinois Valley. It was a depleted roster taking the field for the Dan's with pitcher Sam Whiting in right field and starter Josh Learson doubling as the DH. Additionally, catcher Will Portera had to play through an arm injury, limiting his ability to throw. There's nothing, I mean, it's baseball. I mean, injuries happen, you know, guys go home, pitch count innings and stuff like that. It's just, it's part of the game. And, you know, yeah, you have a healthy catcher. I mean, if we have guys, you know, it's a different ball game, but you know, that's what we were dealt, the cards we were dealt with and we just had to do that and survive. And, you know, like I said, we took them to the last out and made them, I'm sure, sweat a little bit. Despite giving up four runs in the first, the Danes didn't pack it in. They broke out with a six-run fourth inning, headlined by run-scoring doubles from Sam Whiting, Drake DiGiorno, and Keenan Taylor. In an unnatural position in the starting lineup, Sam Whiting finished two for four with four RBI. Yeah, it was. I mean, we had a backup plan. I mean, obviously, like I said, we took the lead, and uh, we made them you know, use everything they could. And, uh, you know, it just didn't fall our way, but hey. What a great group of guys, and we just you know, ran out of gas and in innings, but yeah, I mean, I, mean, I couldn't be more happy, proud, and they competed. That's all you can ask for. And, you know, we didn't embarrass ourselves and played the game the right way, and like I said, just didn't go our way. With a 10 to 6 lead, infielder Will Carpenter filled in behind the plate in an attempt to limit the running game. However, the Pistol Shrimp were able to come back with five runs between the seventh and eighth innings to take an 11 to 10 lead. The Danes put up a late rally in the ninth with two walks, moving the tying run into scoring position. However, they were unable to score the run, ending the ball game and the season. Winning run on base, pitcher up. I mean, it shouldn't even been that close, but that's the way our guys are. Battle and battle and compete and play the last out. It's been our mantra all summer. So it is. They get to move on and our guys get to go home. But like I said, our, our guys are. Uh, Resilient, and they did a great job this season. And uh, I mean, when you went both halves, no other team did that. I mean, we finished with the best record. I mean, I'm happy and proud. And uh, like I said, it's uh, it's bittersweet, but great group of guys. The Dan's finished the season as winners in both halves of the regular season in the Wabash River Division, and with 40 wins, finished one behind the franchise record. The team held one of the best batting averages in the Prospect League, and were led by an elite pitching staff. 4.22 ERA and 539 strikeouts, ranked second and fourth in the league respectively. Two weeks from now, three weeks from now, you know, they, they both, uh, in the league, they'll probably forget about who won the Prospect League Championship, but, you know, I'm not going to forget the memories of these guys battling and grinding through with whatever amount of players we had, and, you know, it is what it is. It's baseball, and, you know, I'll, I mean, I'll be fine, and I'm, they'll be back going back to school, and, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Didn't fall go our way, but hey, great group of guys. I'm proud of them, and they're dance for life. I'm Alex Hines, and thank you for watching 2022 Danville Dan's Prospect League Baseball.